In ages long past, there was once a warrior who was both noble and brave beyond all measure. His deeds of heroism and skill in combat were legend. His name was whispered within the hallowed halls of men for countless generations. Yet now his name is lost. Lost in the mists of time forever. It is said that destiny delights in the misfortunes of men, and so it proved true for Gabriel Belmont. For even after defeating the Lords of Shadow, and ending their reign of terror, his soul was consumed by the very darkness that he sought to destroy, as that ancient prophecy foretold. Whosoever defeats the Lords of Shadow will sit upon their throne to rule as the Prince of Darkness. But before fate had played its hand, and unknown to Gabriel, his beloved wife Marie conceived a son by him. The Brotherhood of Light warned her of that ancient prophecy and the terrible fate which lay before her husband. So, with heavy heart, she concealed her pregnancy. For it is written that only the blood of that lineage has the power to defeat the Prince of Darkness. Thus, when newly born, the child Trevor was hidden from his father and raised a holy warrior of the Brotherhood in secret, so that one day he would be ready to stand against his own blood, as foretold. That day would come, some 25 years later, for what had once been Gabriel Belmont was now a powerful vampire known as Dracula, the Dragon. The Brotherhood of Light fought against the onslaught of his dark armies, which laid waste to towns and villages across the land, but to little avail. Trevor was now fully grown to manhood, and the truth of his origin and destiny of the Belmont clan was finally revealed to him. So he set out to confront his father, and end his family shame forever. But Trevor failed, and was mortally wounded in the confrontation with his father. He was no match for Dracula's terrible power. Yet, as he lay dying, Trevor finally revealed his true identity. Dracula was driven mad with grief and rage over the revelation. He desperately sought to save his dying son by giving him his own lifeblood. But it was too late, or so he thought. Dracula buried his son within the walls of his great castle and then swore bloody vengeance upon the world. Raising an army of creatures beholden only to him, he struck with fury and merciless cruelty at humanity. He vowed to hunt God's children for all eternity. But fate still had one last card to play. Dracula's blood had power, and that power now coursed through the veins of his dead son slowly reviving him over many years, until one night, he emerged once more into the world, not as a man, but as a creature like his father. What had once been Trevor Belmont was now gone forever. He was now a vampire like his father, though he swore that he would not be like him. He would take the name Alucard. He would be a force for good, opposing his father's capacity for evil. In that very moment, Alucard swore to destroy Dracula. But fate had something else in mind. Meanwhile, Trevor's own son grew into a fearsome warrior with a reputation that far exceeded even that of his illustrious father. Simon Belmont knew little of his own lineage, nor his importance in the events to come. All he knew was that his mother had died at the hands of Dracula's minions when he was but an infant, and his father had been killed in single combat with Dracula. Found and raised by the people of White Mountains, Simon had but one purpose in life, to destroy Dracula for the murder of his parents. After years of training in the arts of war, Simon set off for Dracula's castle, and a date with destiny. Once in the castle, Simon met Alucard, and knowing little of the true identity of his companion, joined forces with him. 
flood bound them together, and fate took a hand once again, as finally they met their dreaded foe in mortal combat. Simon defeated Dracula with his whip, and yet Alucard sensed that all was not as it should be. Dracula would return. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobek, where have you been all this time? And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. Isent Dracul! What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity.
Help me, and I can free you of your immortality. It pleases me to see you recovered, old friend. Indeed, old friend. No! Relax. Our guest is just a little confused. I know what he wants. You see before you, the legendary vampire killer. Your old weapon, if you recall. The only weapon capable of ending your immortal life. You thought it destroyed. But you see, you can have the eternal rest you crave after all. First, you must help me. Prevent Satan's return to the world. Then, I swear to you, I will deliver the fatal blow to your heart myself. And I am sure you will fulfill that vow. Since you sent Satan back to hell a thousand years ago, his human offspring, or acolytes as they call themselves, have been dormant. I suppose that they, that all of us, feared your wrath and great power. But not now. Now, even my bodyguard is more than a match for you. The Acolytes know you are weak, and are preparing for their father's return. Now they fear... nothing. Don't they fear the mighty Zobet? Only you, in full possession of your powers, can defeat them. Follow me. Please. We must find and destroy the Acolytes before they can finalize their preparations for Satan's return. It won't be easy. They govern the world of men from the shadows. Not even I know with any degree of certainty who or where they are. They won't come out into the light unless we can force their hand. The Acolytes must never know who hunts them down. 
The element of surprise will give us the advantage. Until you are at full strength again. And you don't know who they are, or where they are? Did you know that this city is built upon the foundations of your castle? The Acolytes are focusing their attentions here for very good reason. Satan has specifically chosen this place for his return. He means to enslave you first, to humiliate you for what you did to him. Let's get on with it. The Acolytes must plunge the world into chaos before Satan can be summoned. Their activities leave spectral traces, which are difficult but not impossible to follow. This is the headquarters of a powerful pharmaceutical corporation. I suspect that one of the Acolytes is operating from there. The complex was sealed two months ago and is protected by magic. If I were to use my powers to see what is happening there, they would be able to trace it back to me within a matter of minutes. So, I will send you to the corporation via a portal. But we must be quick so as not to arouse suspicion. The longer the portal remains open, the more likely we will be discovered. Look for any sign of the Acolyte, but be careful. What are you waiting for? You'll pay for what you did to me and my mother. Trevor? The Void Sword. Don't leave us, my prince. Don't go. Your base is here. This is your home. We are your children. We are your true
Watch out for making us go! Why are you doing this to us? You can't destroy us! <laughs> to us. This boy is under my protection. You're not our lord anymore! Take this. Use it, and I will come. Is this real? Or just a dream? Stay where you are. Something's wrong here. They are synthesizing a substance, a gas. They plan to release it into the atmosphere to infect the people. Tonight. There's something else. There is someone special here. Different from the others. Very, very powerful. I'm being sensed. I'm going to retreat. Be careful. Learn much from her regarding these acolytes and their plans. If I 
had known you were coming, I would have made myself more presentable. Who are you and what do you want? Oh, I see now why you're here. <laughs> I'm gonna have such fun with you. <laughs> Is she dead? No. Only unconscious. I'm opening up all. Stop playing around. Open it. You've lost your chaos power. Now the Gorgons have it. Uriale, Steno and Medusa. You're going to need to get it back. Beware of the Jane. They no longer serve their master. Wait. Medusa has your king's powers. Can I find her? I know where she is, Excellency! If I was free from this prison, I could help you find her! Try any one of your tricks, and it'll be the last thing you'll ever do. You won't regret it, most gracious prince! Give me your word. Make sure you keep it. Of course. My prince, of course. I hope 
I have pleased you, Excellency. Get out of my way. Whatever you say, my prince. Um, with your permission, Majesty, I would like to reopen my humble shop here in the castle. For your own personal needs, of course. Um, with your leave, sire, you can count on a most generous discount on all articles for sale. I hope to be of service to you, oh great and powerful one. Where is your sister? She won't be long. Look, here she comes now. Medusa.
the worst for our colleagues. The green cloud is expanding over the city, transforming both the living and the dead. Brutal creatures are coming out of it, like the ones seen in the images. The, the cloud... The creatures are extremely violent, and the security forces have set up barricades all around the city to try to contain them. Many people are now asleep at this time of night. Citizen collaboration will be... I've been informed that the governor's appearance has been cancelled, and he's not answering calls from our newsroom. The worst thing... This is like nothing we've ever seen before. It doesn't make sense anymore to try to calm your fears. As far as I can tell, the gates of hell have opened under the city. Look for your loved ones, and run for your... Has she said anything yet? Yes. To tell you the truth, she hasn't shut up. Do you find me attractive, my prince? I've tried reading her mind, but there is only he chaos and fury the there. Because he's impotent. Something is very see, deep, you both are. but I'm unable to see it. <laughs> my dear Zobet, if only you could see what I see. She's too far While gone. My brother's skin She'll dry kill herself before they get slow, anything out of her. Very slow, so you feel if she was human again, I might be able to reach her. Against us, you scum. Then let's give her back her humanity. Oh, make me pretty again. Oh, yes, please make me how? pretty again. This disease <laughs> is manufactured, <laughs> so they must have made an antidote as well. Oh, you are so clever. So clever, my handsome yes, prince. Yes, of course. It must have been created when developing the virus to protect those chosen to serve them. Judging by the look of you, sadly it would seem you're not one of the chosen, my dear. No, my dear. Sadly, I am just one of Satan's horse. <sighs> I'll go back to the corporation, look around, see what I can Very find. well, but make your own way there. It's risky to open a portal. It's likely the Acolytes are aware of her disappearance by now. I don't want to leave supernatural traces that could lead back to me. For Matthew, you pigs, you disgust me! You scum! You scum! Time. Ready for your orders, lads? Sir, sir, yes, sir. I can't see any possessed around here, Captain. Just this man here. He's not wearing a gas mask. I can see that. You'll have to come with us, sir. Hey, perhaps you didn't hear me, sir. Step aside. You're coming with us. Like it or not. The next time you creep up on me from behind will be your last. Zobek sent me. He feels you might need my help because you're still weak. I can look after myself, boy. I don't need anyone's help. Least of all yours. What are we looking for? 
This train leads somewhere important. I saw many of their elite boarding it. Find where this leads, and we find the antenna. Father! Mother is very frightened. Can you come with me? No! What's happening? Someone wants to hurt us. My lord. Carmilla. This must be a dream. And if you were never to wake again, would it matter? I destroyed you a long time ago. But that wasn't you. All those years ago. now. Do with me what you will. Standing here, as if a thousand years had not passed since the last time I saw you alive. And our son, hidden deep inside you. I had to protect him from you, Gabriel. They knew. They told me what you were going to become. I had no choice. And did they tell you of your own death at my hands? Did they tell you what would happen to our child? Did they... Did they tell you that blood would fight against blood for all eternity? You were deceived, Marie. Tell me, is this God's reward for the devoted and the foolish? You are no fool, Gabriel. I am no longer Gabriel, woman. I am the dragon, Dracul. I am the Prince of Darkness. I am and will be forever a thorn in his side. That is my vengeance. I know who you are. And I know you want this to be over. But this suffering had to happen. 
And it will come to an end soon, my love. I have been sent back to help you. You cannot help me. You're not here. You're not real. I am as real as the blood of that witch that is poisoning you as we speak. Ah, oh, this castle and its inhabitants fear that you will leave this place forever. They will stop at nothing to keep you here. Your power keeps them alive. I know. This place has been my home for many centuries. Now, all I want to do is escape. I've seen our son here. This is no place for a boy. It's no place for you either, Gabriel. It never has been. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to return to us. To your family. Now you must drink my blood. It will help fight Carmilla's spell. Remember, I am always with you. You're not going anywhere, my prince. My love, I thought I'd never see you again. Now drink from me again. The witch's blood is powerful. Close your eyes. No, Gabriel! <sighs> this is pointless. He knows your tricks. Only my blood can undo this blood. My prince, no! What a disappointment you are. You. Bad choice. Oh. 
in your dreams. Access granted. Come on through. Injection in the neck. Your own antidote, my dear. When your possession disappears, you are going to tell us where the acolytes are. Something's wrong. The possession isn't disappearing. How fortunate that you should crawl out of your hiding place. Though the dragon still lives. We thought you dead, no matter. You want to know where the acolytes are? Behold before you a child of Satan! <laughs> My father fears you. He fears you may ruin his plans. I cannot allow that. Nothing will stand in the way of his return. You see, my father takes this all very personal. As soon as out, you and your lackey have a date with hell and my father will know that it was I, his beloved daughter, who sent you there. Lucifer in Omnium Meum Negotia. Renat et in Ilos Resquem. May resistant in today.
Where is she gone? Nowhere. Shut off! Now! to wake up, Father. Tre Trevor. Mother says that you're going to return with us. That you never really wanted to leave. But you had to go. She says I shouldn't be angry with you. That we've got to help you leave this evil place. This one. Look, Father, it's you. The mirror's missing. Father, I can't play without the mirror of fate. Will you bring it to me, please? It can't be far. Some use after all. Andreas. My brother, the great man, is dead. You killed him. Remember? Your brother him. sacrificed himself for a cause that he believed in. It wasn't his cause, but yours. And for what? Bring the world under your dominion? Tell me, vampire. Do you think that is the will of God? Hear me well, Agrius. God failed. 
And your brother was naive. Now give me the fragment. I have nothing against you. I have waited for this moment for a long time. Now my wait is over! Have you brought the mirror? I'm sorry. It's broken. Broken? That's strange. No matter. Can you find all the missing pieces for me, Father? I'll try. Wait for me here. Have you brought me another piece? There are still some missing pieces. There is one other piece, and I know who has it, but he isn't here in the castle. Where is he, Sam? Close your eyes, just for a moment. Very well. I'm pleased to see you again. What happened to you after you destroyed the Acolyte? I lost all trace of you. Where have you been? Attending to my own affairs. Everything appears to be in order, sir. The other Acolytes will know one of them is dead by now. Indeed. But they don't know who was responsible. 
I'm sure word will reach them soon. I have little doubt that they will discover who it was before too long. I'm afraid that they already suspect you have come out of hiding, my friend. Even as we speak, a powerful presence searches for you in your little hideout in the church. Who? Oh. An envoy of the Acolytes, I believe, though I cannot be certain. I'll go and see for myself. Whoever it is may lead us to them. Accompany him. No. I don't need a dog. Be careful. There is a tremendous power close to you. It's not the Acolyte, it's something else. Something I have not felt for. The Brotherhood of Light. Its force is affecting my abilities. I did not expect this.
I'm Victor. Victor Belmont. Commander of the Brotherhood of Light. Protector of humanity. And the last of my illustrious bloodline. We thought you were dead. I'm immortal, warrior. Something you Belmonts don't seem to understand. We're hiding people here who haven't already been infected. I don't know how much longer we can hang on. Not long. Take it. It's an antidote to the infection. Wait. Whose side are you on? I stand alone. You help me. Maybe I can help you. You're looking for the Acolytes, are you not? You know where they are? Not exactly. But I do know how we could flush them out. Follow me. to get very far with this old antique. Zerbeck lost all trace of you. We feared you were destroyed. Disappointing. Look out! We're under attack! <laughs> Now hide yourselves. Take cover or his sacrifice will be in vain.
There is one other piece, and I know who has it. The last piece. Perfect. Thank you, Father. inherited all of your worst traits, don't you think? Who the hell are you? I am the blood that runs through your veins. I am the dark shadow that chills the hearts of men as you pass. I am the fury, your hate and your vengeance. I am your destiny! What have you done with my son? He doesn't belong here. Only you do. Destroy me. You and I are one. <laughs> I will be with you. Always. Always. It's all right. I mean, everything's all right. I promise I will end this. Father. Don't let the acolyte escape. to trace the power of the Acolyte to that building in front of me. This is the headquarters of the biggest weapons manufacturer in the world. They hold great power over men with influence from politics to economics. It makes sense that one of the Acolytes would be a part of this conglomerate. You have the advantage of surprise, but don't be overconfident. I sense this rival is going to prove most formidable.
do my eyes deceive me? Eternity alongside my father awaits you. What in hell's name? My power here is pathetic. I can see that I have underestimated you. Accept my apology. It won't happen again.
thank you for bringing me the Mirror of Fate, Father. You know, only you're able to fulfill your destiny. I saw my destiny in this mirror a long time ago. But you were alone then. Now you have Mother and me. That's true. The mirror can help you sometimes, when it wants to. There is no armor against fate. Then make me a promise. What is it? When this is over, choose your family. I've already done that. A great victory, my friend. There's still one left. Indeed. And I fear that it's only a matter of time before he finds us. Since the death of his brother and sister, the third acolyte has come out into the open and is unleashing all his power to find those responsible. He's more powerful than the others and appears to fear nothing. This acolyte commands ultimate possession and control over others. Religious power. There's a conclave in the Basilica of the city. The church leader's been locked inside there for weeks. The acolyte must be one of them. Remember our deal, Gabriel. Destroy the acolytes before Satan can be summoned. And you will have the eternal peace you desire. Every second counts. Go with him. Inhabit the primordial air, whom from the corners of the earth are all powerful, to you it is said. Contemplate the glorious face of Satan, the beginning of all consolation and whose eyes give clarity to the stars. Let the seasons be confused, and let it be that no creature shall be equal. Let all men fight among themselves. Let their work be mutilated and their homes be no more. There's the acolyte. For the we must the world. destroy him before he can summon Satan. You did it. The way out of the castle's there. Remember? The throne room. What you are looking for is in that book, Gabriel. Time to wake up, Father. Remember. Remember everything. God is with me, monster. 
monster. That will be your ruin. Christus vivit. Christus regnat. Christus ab omni malo te defendat. Maledicti et excommunicati dai monis. In virtuti storum factorum de nomi. I was nomi. like you once. But your God showed me another path. Messias. <laughs> Emmanuel. Sotter. Sabahot. Adios. Inkiros. Athanatos. Yehovah. Adonai. <laughs> That's it's why the, the power of your God cannot destroy Because I am his chosen one. <laughs> Ubi furent haec nomina et digna Dei, precipimus vobis, at quelegamus vos ut non habietus. Utus potis datum per pestem nec per aliquod, quodemque maleficium noceri e incantationem neque in anima nec Trevor? Trevor died a long time ago, Father. You made me what I am. I stand here before you, reborn, a vampire. I am Alucard. Why are you here? You know better than anyone I cannot die. My immortality runs through your veins, too. Of course. Only my father, Gabriel Belmont, can destroy Dracula. It is too late for me. How can you be so sure? The roots of evil are deep. Irreversibly so in the hearts of men. It is their true nature their destiny. I was their most devoted warrior. A champion of light. But I fell. Fell into darkness. And now, I am feared as the Prince of Darkness. Ironic, don't you think? The mighty Zobek hides from me like the scared rat he is. Even Satan himself is too afraid to leave the pits of hell and fight me. But if I die now, Alucard, they will simply take my place. Evil will prevail. It is the natural order. The world is like this. Abandon all hope. No. What if there was a way to destroy their evil forever? To free mankind from tyranny. If they believed you dead, they would come out into the light once more, would they not? This... is the Crusagrum. I forged this weapon from a fragment of the vampire killer you drove into Camilla's heart. I found it in the castle, all those years ago. The first time we faced each other in combat. 
If your heart is pierced by this weapon, you will fall into a deep sleep. It will not kill you. But you would lose all your powers and would not be able to resurrect until it was removed. This is not the true death you desire. But Satan will think you dead. Centuries will pass and his acolytes will start to prepare for his return. Zobek will no doubt think that Satan is going to return. And he will be beset by panic. Zobek knows only too well that he is no rival for Satan, so he'll look for me in the hope that I'm still alive somewhere. At the appropriate time, I will remove the sword. I'll make sure that Zobek finds you. He knows only that with your help can the Acolytes be destroyed and Satan's return foiled. I will be too weak. Zobek will see through the charade easily. The long sleep will fragment your memory. Zobek will only see confusion. I won't remember this conversation. And Zobek will see only dark shadows in my mind. But how can you be sure I'll collaborate with him? Because, in exchange for your help, he'll offer you the one thing you really desire. True death. Eternal peace. Zobek is the vampire killer. Yes. You thought your weapon broken, but he has found the fragments and rebuilt it. Only he can grant you eternal rest. You must allow the last acolyte of summoning ritual to bring Satan to this earth. We can trap him here. And we can destroy him. Forever! For that to happen, you must recover all your powers again, in order to confront him at that critical moment. You're asking me to free the world from Satan again? To sacrifice everything for humanity again? Yes, I am. Within this last moment, you will hold both Zobek and Satan within your grasp. to my heart before I change my mind! Put my hand on your shoulder, Father. been a long journey. Remember? Remember our pact, Father? I remember it well. Son. Lucifer out of his hole to face his own enemy one last time. Oh, true lord, tell me the exact place in which you desire to be reborn. Torizot! Norquasahi! Otvikosaga! I understand. 
understand. <laughs> Where has he gone? I don't know. That language is unknown to me. That language... It's ancient Enochian. The language of Satan! Miserable traitors! Now receive your just rewards for your disloyalty! Betrayer! We must separate, to find out where the last Acolyte went. Yes, Father. We need to hurry. I'll let you know if I find him. In the name of Satan, Lord of the Earth, King of the World, I order the forces of darkness to pour its infernal power over me. Let the gates of hell open wide. And from the abyss greet me as your brother and friend. I order everything to be as I command. I despise incompetence. I must congratulate you. I confess. I had not expected to see you here. We could share this world. You and I. But you desire to destroy me. I see that now. I'm very well aware of your power, Gabriel. However, I desire to destroy this world. If I cannot rule the world of men, then no one will!
What now? Prince of Darkness. Are you going to kill your son again? <laughs> I know you, Gabriel Belmont. Your feelings will betray you. You won't kill your son to destroy me. You don't know me, Satan. <laughs> Father, the sun is rising. It's time to go. What happens now? what fate has in store. 